Welcome to the Dobson and Power Night Sessions. Tonight is the night. Again with a 12-inch Dobsonian telescope. The King. The King. The King. However, tonight is less cloudy, is less windy and less dew in the air. So it's a great night, great weekend night to place the Dobsonian outside. And the plan is, after the failure of yesterday, I will do a fast star hopping to catch the Crab Nebula again, just to, to see how it works with today with the, the real filter I wanted to try, the quad band filter. And then we move to the monkey head quickly and then we go to the jellyfish as you requested yesterday i hope the connection is good the sound is good hopefully i will get my starlink material and subscription soon because it's on the way from ireland to portugal they shipped yesterday so it will come soon soon new connection here new connection it will be great and i have great news well great news and this is what a day 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 i will have surgery be in less than two weeks in the hospital no 12 inch no 12 inch for one month i will have two surgeries in one two surgeries in one 
So no no 12 inch. So I, I have to grab this opportunity this week to to capture objects with the king, with the king. Because then will be a pause, only Virtuoso. You see? Another advantage of a portable telescope like the Virtuoso and the Dwarf, but the Virtuoso is better, much better. So it will be with the Virtuoso after the surgery. I will send you a message probably from the hospital or whatever to the members. And we'll see. And today... Remember, some of you remember that I want to change the observatory because of the problem I had yesterday. Yesterday, the main problem with the 12-inch, mainly with the 12-inch, large dobs, it's the wind. I'm up uh, in this hill. I'm up and uh, I'm uncovered. So I'm exposed too much to the wind. And the wind here sometimes is very strong. And yesterday, if it wasn't the wind, the dob would make uh, a great session. The problem, I... More than two years ago, I requested, I made a project with the architect and requested the town council to lift a bit the, the walls here so I can be protected from the wind, also from the LED street LED lights and from curious people that uh, pass on the street and the cars. Huge advantage, a game changer to, to lift the walls. The problem, it was taking too much uh, time and it was rejected at the first time. So a few days ago, I wrote a letter to the president of my city, of my town council. And guess what? Today I received the... Uh, bam! Bam! Approved! Bam! I will start working on that with my... The engineers and architects or whatever and uh, the people that work in construction to put this on on put this moving on and i will lift finally i will lift here and do some changes here that means that will impact a lot this channel live streams because it will it means that when it's windy unless it's a hurricane or like very 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 strong winds that we can't be outside in a, a no normal or regular wind uh, night i can place the the dobs perfectly because they will be protected so i'm very very excited about that and right away let me connect the camera let me connect the camera outside do you know after i received this approval it's official bam the president bam approved i told her the story of uh, what I uh, the true what I do here what everything and she she said all right bam approved do you know immediately I thought because I have a plan to I have a plan to place uh, some red lights with uh, those strips for exterior that I see in some observatories but you know what? I have those lights already inside my house. I tested it outside and I didn't like it. It's super bright. I prefer totally darkness. And I will use just um, the, head, uh, the head torch, red one that I have, to, to go outside as I'm doing right now. I will not place any light. Even the, the red lights in the darkness, it's... Uh, it's awful to do the star hoping. Uh, my plan was to use the lights and change the camera from infrared to regular camera. So it will be on color, etc. But I tested it and I didn't like. I prefer the infrared because we can't see the infrared. So it doesn't hurt our night vision to watch the sky and do the star hoping. And I will not place any light. I don't know how you do in your location. Some people use, many people use red lights all over the place the observatories i tried i didn't like even at lower brightness i didn't like at all at all i don't know why people maybe they want to write something or i don't know i will just use the torch and that's it now we will have a great night then i have a something very 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 interesting i bet most of you are if any don't know 
something from about this nebula that we are going to to watch from nasa very 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 interesting i was very surprised with that and i will show you later in the stream we are streaming from here planet earth continent europe country portugal region algarve 37 latitude Bortal 5 Okay, I will have to check better, check the sound. I don't know if you are listening the videos. I lowered... Well, I was changing things here. Camera. This will be a great night, great night. Hopefully. My brain is better today because I already schedule. Where is my camera? I already scheduled the, the surgery, so I'm a bit better. Hello, West Coast Winds, Quasar, Nuno Santiago, Geoffrey Waldo, Antonio Cortez, Biosis. Rao, finally I see you here. What's happening to you, Rao? What happened? You're lost in the darkness. Astro Thieb is in a house. GR, Dream Star, clear sky to everybody. I hope you're having a great start of the weekend. Okay, let's open the camera with the infrared. I will keep like this. I will keep like this. The connection it's not very good, but hopefully very soon I will have my Starlink working. There we go, there we go. The king prepared. You see the, the trees? No wind. No wind. It's excellent. It's excellent for the king. It's excellent. Let me open sharp cap. The camera is the same. It is likely on focus. I don't know. We will check because I didn't touch it. I just changed the filter. To the one that uh, or or check that is there because it was there yesterday and now i will point to a bright star point to a bright star to do what i like the most to go outside grab the telescope and point to the sky doing the star hopping star hopping hoping You see what I said to you? This is the quad band filter when, because we are with the star is on an exosia, focal reducer and comma corrector, when it is centered, the star is, and is collimated, of course, everything is uh, symmetrical. You see, if I move the star to the sides, it will be distorted and it's no pro problem, no collimation problem. This is very well collimated. Okay, it's on focus. We can see by the shapes, by the... <clears throat> the spikes let me just wait a bit well maybe 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 we can give a touch let me check let me check let me check I want this to be perfect tonight yeah we got it we got it now, as usual, the art part. Okay, let's do it.
Crab Nebula. Check Solarium. Ciao Astro Chaps. Dio Crew. Robson. I will do as fast as I can. Okay, I remember. Okay, let's do it. If you're enjoying the show, remember to give it a like to spread it all over the world. I think it's fair enough. Eight seconds. Thank you Astro Thief for gifting 5 Dobsonian Power Memberships, my throat. <laughs> thank you, thank you so much for your kind support. Just like it, David Carbin, Sean Christie, Trent and Universe Wonders, you are now Dobsonian Power members! Remember to go to our membership tab on the channel and you have access to exclusive content just for members. 
And bam. What's happening to my van? Now, yes, we can see the difference using an arrow band filter. Hold on, let me start from scratch. What's happening with this? I lost my BAM. Okay, fan enough. Let me check my BAM. What's happening here? Well, this one is different, but it's fair enough. Look at the difference. Let me clear again. We will check this and then we will move on. Four eighty. 450 five and a half look at the difference The filaments with only 30 seconds, 32. The filaments already popping. The inner filaments. Yesterday, this part, the core of the, um, the nebula, where is the star? The supernova star was overexposed. with a regular broadband filter. Now with a narrow band filter, which cuts more light and only lets pass four bands of the spectrum. It's less overexposed and the filaments pop with just 32 seconds. I will increase. I'm cutting a bit the filter to uh, to allow the stars to keep uh, round. <laughs> I think I will leave this one. I don't know what I did. I just delete the other one by mistake Mazif is in a house a <laughs> house hippie land yes we can see the difference that was my goal yesterday well it was uh, at the end it's good to to see the difference notice that we have only less than a minute 56 seconds the power the power the power 
the power of the 12 inch Dobsonian telescope. Dobsonian power. power. You can scream, you can jump, you can hit the head on the wall. But there's nothing as a 12 inch Dobsonian telescope, the king. The best telescope in the world. The best telescope. Howdy, howdy. 88 seconds. Two digit. Yet here. 88 seconds. Not even one minute. No Barlow, no Barlow. Focal extender, focal reducer. Studies on an X. I'm using this wonderful tool. <laughs> the, king. the best telescope. And this channel reborn from the ashes. Yesterday was a losing battle, but tonight tonight is the night. Two minutes. And the filaments, look at the green. Yes, this, this filter. The Altair quad band filter. It's not expensive. I don't have affiliate links. My sponsor doesn't have it. By the way, I hope, I hope, I sincerely hope that you are listening. Man on the mountain. Because I have a message to you. I have something that you will like. Well, if you're not there, if you are on the mountain without any connection, you will watch the replay. You have to. By accident, I will bring... I found by accident and I will bring... For the first time in the world... Something that the man, the man on the mountain, will just love it. It's a mix of interesting stuff that we recently have been covering. Okay, what I'm doing, now the, the, the technical hint, for the advanced EAA players. What I'm doing differently from yesterday, as I have less wind in the, in, in the air, in the atmosphere, I lower it the threshold here. I have the threshold on six. This means, this means, because yesterday I had a, I made the mistake of increasing the sound of the music and some of you didn't listen. This means that everything above 6 in the size of the stars will be rejected, these red frames. Yesterday it was, the threshold was higher. Because at 6 it will reject everything. Tonight I can do like this. I could rise a bit. I could rise a bit. But if I rise, I will have more, more frames. Good frames. I will stack faster. However, the stars will not be so rounded. And this position on the sky right now, it's not favorable to my setup. Look at the filaments popping. And yesterday I was saying that usually, Antonio Cortez, you didn't listen very well. Usually on the Instagram, on the Instagram, not the Instagram, on the Instagram, 
here at the bottom, at the right side, which means the mid level, this bar. Usually the position is around, the better position is around the place here. When you move, go down on this mountain from the peak down, the lines are regular lines and it they arrive to a point where they start to distort here you see at the bottom is the worst part everything is distorted so you find the point as a reference only of course then you fine tune to place this bar this vertical bar around the point where the waves start to get awkward I like this filter to this nebula. I like this filter to this nebula. And I like this filter to the next one that we, we are going to watch. Only three minutes and a half. Only three minutes and a half. More Funky Monkey. Rao, this is the Altair quadband filter. It's very, very similar to the, the ZWO duo band. The stars are getting jerky. Then you can do your astrophotography. This kind of nebula benefits a lot from post-processment because of loads of filaments that it has that can be sharpened, enhanced, the colors also, because it has a mix of colors, bluish, greenish, and this orangish and, and reddish tint mixed with the white. So it, it's a, a very good uh, nebula for post-processing, which I don't do. I prefer to have it au naturel. Now, let's move on, let's move on. Let's move on to the monkey's head. A quick start hoping. The best exercise that you can do with your Dobsonian telescope. <coughs> Stellarium. Mountain man is in a house. Wow, this is so, so high now. What's happening here? Test, test, test! Amazing. I don't know what happened, but... It's the connection. Okay. Starlink will solve that. Thanks, Elon! Thank you, Elon! Now. Monkey's head is here. 21.75 We are here Move down and to the left I will use the push too Well, first I will do the tail run <clears throat> Yeah
This is Stellarium. One, two, okay. It's there. A gift from the sky. I just saw a huge meteor from Leonids. <clears throat> And beside, we were using today 8 seconds, not 4. 4 was yesterday because of the wind. I'm increasing to 8 again. <coughs> huge meteor, huge meteor I saw doing the star hopping. By the way, after this stream, I will open another stream. But those kind of streams without camera, you know, just chat. To help my other channels, the Dobsonian Power Brazil and Dobsonian Power en Espanol. That are already with a good pace. Bam. Bam. There we go, there we go. Tonight is the night. Tonight is the night. Yeah, Madzif, but... There's a huge difference between using a Barlow and not using any Barlow. Especially for many people here that use Newtonians. We don't want any Barlow for the SOs. At least galaxies. Only certain planetary nebulae and the planets and the moon. The sun. No, no, no. Not convinced me. I still recommend the 585 over that uh, new camera. Without even trying it.
Now, for the mountain man, while we are stacking a bit more to watch this, make a head. It's upside down. Well. I will show you. But first, I will show you other thing because it's related with this nebula. <clears throat> NASA. Evaporating peaks, pilars in the monkey head nebula. Did you knew, did you know that the monkey head nebula that we are watching? has pilars here is a star forming region in which bright newborn stars near the center of the nebula illuminate the surrounding gas with energetic radiation this radiation along with strong stellar winds erodes away the lower density gas Pockets of higher density gas resist this erosion and form pilars and peaks along the inner edge of the roughly circular cloud. So I will show you. Credits to Frank Summers, Greg Bacon, Lisa and Zoltan. Hubble team Gemini, Orion. There we go. The monkey head. The same position as ours. Look at the eye. Infrared, now. This is what we are watching with a 12 inch Dobsonian telescope. Check again the place, the location of the pilars so we can match in our image. You see the eye? At the right side of the eye, the pilers, and now in infrared. Great work from NASA. Love this in the institution. Here.
here. The pillars. The pillars of the monkey head. With a 12 inch top Sonian. The king. The king. The king. No flats and no darks, just the camera and the telescope. Four minutes and a half, four minutes and a half, four minutes and a half. It's time to suffer a bit more, then we go to the mountain. Four forty, I will go till five. Five minutes. A whole life exposing. A new record. A new astrophotography record. Five freaking minutes. Five minutes. Let's save a scene. So you asked. Chris, it's very hard. The Crab Nebula, it's easy. The Crab Nebula, you can can watch it perfectly with your... With your 8-inch dub. Perfectly. This one is harder. It will depend on your sky. Jellyfish. Very, very hard. I don't know if we will make it. The star is easy. Star hopping will be easier tonight because I can see, if I wait a bit, I can see these two stars. Or at least, yeah, these two, I think. Well, we'll see. It's difficult. I think to do this one, I will just use the push to because it's easier. It's only to move left. Last one, save a scene with 5 and 52. 5 minutes 52. It's 
stretch. Push to. Jelly F. There we go. Cluster. No. Piggy C. I could just move it, but... No, not the Piggy C. I see. Four four three, yes, I'm searching right that one. Astrothy, but it has four four three seven, four four three five, four four three six. All galaxy. Except one is double star. Hip. Hip. Two nine nine six eight. With a space. No hip. We are. I have to input it with zero. Okay. <laughs> At this moment, I manually, I would have the, the nebula already there. You see what I mean? By learning the sky, galaxy it says. Start. Will it work? Will it work? Yeah. It can't be. Right 34. No. Well, I have a cluster here. Let me see if it has. It's called CR89. Nothing. Hm. You know what? You know what? Uh -uh. You know what? I'll show you. Start hoping, hoping. Start hoping. Manual.
will it be that? Very faint. It's that one. Let's see, the nebula is like this, super large. I will leave it like this and check. The nebula is super, super large. Look. We are like this. Well, it's better to take off the star. Well, the star is almost off. Yes, I will take the star. This star. Here. You see the distortion that I was talking about? Look how distorted is the disc. Not the collimation. It's the focal reducer lens. Lenses. Yes, I will move it down to take off the star. And frame it better. Just a bit. I think this is the best part of the jellyfish. Let's see, let's check it. Let me see if I have here the 8 seconds ready. Hold on. So it's easier. Yes, I have. Changes have been made to the target name that will only take effect when the current stack is cleared and the new stack is started. I don't understand this message. Get off. Bam. Bam. It's huge. It's huge. Yeah, it's super bright, the star. We take it off. With this frame, it's better. I think I have to lower the speed. Let me check. The movement. The drift. Yeah, it's going... No. So the telescope is going down. It means that uh, is it has to be more, to have more speed. Okay, 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 okay. I think I understood.
Jellyfish. Very hard, this one. Let's see if we can bring more detail because for EA it's very hard. Very similar to the Vel Nebula here. I notice greenish trying to pop here inside the nebula. Let's see, let's it needs a bit more this one. So meanwhile, let me just save at least one before being photobombed or so. What does this he said here? Jellyfish. What the heck is this? Look weird. Filaments and rays or something here. Chandra, of course. Chandra observations. Show that the explosion that created the Jellyfish Nebula, also known IC443, may have also formed a peculiar object located on the southern edge of the remnant. So it would be in our picture. It's uh, around here, I think. This is the the most visible part that we have. Well, this is the remnant of a supernova lying five thousand light years from Earth. The object is likely a rapidly spinning neutron star or pulsar. Let's wait a bit more. Meanwhile, I want to show you something. So this is a, um, a website from from a member of the team of AstroArt, our sponsor. Join us. This show is sponsored by AstroArt Finland, your astronomical partner. Called Vil from Finland. And he said here Heavens above Tade. Tade is um, a volcan in the Tenerife Canary Island near the man on the mountain. And he said last year I had the incredible opportunity to visit Gran Canaria. As the sun gracefully dipped below the horizon, 
a celestial marvel unfolded be before my eyes. The core of the Milky Way began to gleam, growing increasingly brilliant as the night's darkness enveloped the landscape. And then it shows the site here near the volcano. It's called Minas de San Jose. The site I selected is a remarkable desert of pumice banks adorned with massive volcanic rock pilers. It was as thought I had set foot on a distant planet, the desolate terrain bore a striking resemblance to the surface of Mars. And it's true. And it's true. Around the Vulcan, it looks like Mars and it smells awful. Like sulfur. But the man on the mountain knows this very well. And then I moved down and I found this. Astronomical sketching. I have made hundreds of astronomical sketches in the past, but as my interest has shifted towards astrophotography, I don't do it often anymore. You see? Before this trip, I think it has been three years from the last sketch. You know what is a sketch? It's drawing what you are watching visually. As I was limited by the rather small aperture of my telescope, I decided to observe mostly bright nebulosities but i also had a taste of some hidden jewels of the southern skies like the sculpture galaxy and the helix nebula which we saw here recently seeking the targets manually was challenging where did i hear this was challenging but also rewarding and time just flew by as I got my pencils out. And here are the sketches. Well, just to say to you, sketchers of this community, That when we think in sketches, we tend to think, at least me, we tend to think in like associate like drawing faces or so, which is incredible, incredibly hard for someone like me that doesn't know how to draw anything since childhood. I was never good on that. So the first instinct was from me and from from many people to think it's very very hard but at the end if you look at the sketches because we visually we see only faint objects at the end it's it seems not so hard to do first the stars with an equatorial platform we can be one hour so it's very simple to do or a go to first pinpoint stars bam 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 which could be funny to do it doesn't require any skill of drawing Bang, 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 bang. Stars. And then, look for instance this one. 
a nebula. It's on Finnish, I, I can't uh, read. He saw here three stars and aligned the nebula with the stars and then it doesn't seem so hard. A galaxy. This one is harder. And this one even harder. So. So. And then it moves on the story. So, I did a mistake. I increased the speed and I should have done the opposite. <laughs> always like that. Always something to... I have always something to to destroy completely, blow off the, the, the live stream. Now that it was starting to pop, look. Reduced to half a uh, nebula. Better than nothing. I always do something. Always, always. is my mantra. I did the opposite. And it's not stacking, by the way. Oof, I did the opposite and this, ooh, like a mountain. Falling down the mountain. <laughs> it's incredible. It's incredible. How can I do it so bad? Sometimes. Well, good detail. Either ways. Good detail in this part of the nebula. Teddy and Lanzarote there are extraterrestrial landscapes. Also, they shoot movies, of course. What school is after you sketch, you run sketch through scanner and invert the image. Then the background is black and the stars you sketch are white. Ah. So in order to do that, Chris, we have to use a white pencil, no? No. The opposite. A regular pencil, no? Look, I'm preparing this mindset for the next summer. We just ended the summer. But I think I'm open-minded to... Or I open it... I'm open it to... To try that as a relaxing therapy for the mind and for the body and for the soul visually with my Dobsonian telescopes but it will be under uh, a good night sky not cool not uh, so cool it's cold not so cold as it is starting to be Yes, regular pencil. Yes, it depends in what you sketch. If you sketch the Orion Nebula, it's well, <laughs> the Orion Nebula. And apart from the Nebula, you have to know and be able to use the technique, which I don't know. What technique? What's the technique? Technique? I guess you could continue to use the camera and sketch. Yes, but the funny or the pleasure would come from being able to watch visually. Because doing the sketch, you will take time. Taking time will first relax you. And look that I didn't have uh, made any sketch in my life. It will relax you. It will increase your dark... Uh, adaptation your dark vision 
so you will watch more as long as the time pass and it's a form of relaxing to use a camera is like uh, pff, like you use a, a smartphone and do any draw or any sketch the funny thing is to do it right directly from the photons from the sky and watch better and better with your own eyes technique for sketching like using ear sticks and other things extend uniformly the graphite and so on wow and i don't know how i can do a video with me sketching because to record a video i would have to have light and to do the sketching i'm doing visual i don't want light maybe sketching with a hand inside a box and with a with a camera inside the box with light but all sealed i don't know but then i can't see i don't know i don't know if it will be possible to share that experience or if it's a a, a self experience just for a single human to to enjoy If I relax anymore, I will fall asleep. No. No, no, no. <laughs> Don't you enjoy the sky at night uh, outside when it's uh, a warm night? You fall asleep? If you are very tired only. Okay, now what I'm going to do This was kind of a fail, this one. What I'm going to do is to wish you an awesome weekend. I will close this stream, open another, but you know, it will be different. I will place the, um, the All Sky camera and uh, record the meteors. I do this first for helping my other two channels and other people from other parts of the world that eventually find the channel or can find the channel and also to record just in case sometimes we having a camera well sometimes happen weird things in the sky and if we don't have a camera pointing to that event we will not record anything so i always have that uh, that uh, hope that my camera during the night can capture anything i don't know interesting and and weird besides the it is expected to be 10 15 meteors per hour it's all in its meteor shower and um, there's no moon so it will help in, in that the sky is clear so i will take the chance and just place there if you wanna uh, go there to the chat and, and talk anything just go there i'll be around to make sure the shot is clean or whatever you share the result and relate the experience and the emotions and the difficulties etc of course it's an experience a different experience i may try that next summer i will be preparing my mindset to that and thinking in a way to to share that experience also not only showing a paper Okay, guys, have an also weekend, and I'll see you in the next live stream, which will be in a few mi minutes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I will place the camera while I'll start the 12-inch. The Bye-bye.